Hey folks, welcome back. Well, in this video, I am going to try my best to show you the differences uh, in 7.3 engines um, because we kind of got almost what I'd consider the most extreme of the differences between uh, the generations because <clears throat> we have a 1999 Let's just call it a 2000 because it's a late 99. Uh, we got a 2000 F350 here with a six speed manual. It's uh, got a bad engine that we are going to take and put a 1995 7.3 that came out of an E350 van with an automatic transmission and identify you know what's what's different between the the two generations there there's not really that big of a spread of apart but there's a huge difference between 95s and 99 and up in various different uh places so we're going to start with the fuel system and then we'll you know get into the oil system and then we'll get into uh talking about different things uh that bolt on the block as far as you know the spacer plate and everything between an automatic and manual and and uh that kind of stuff okay so this uh engine here came out of the 95 95 van and um it had a mechanical fuel pump which was uh bolted you know right in here there's the on the bottom of the fuel pump now i don't have that fuel pump because i don't know where it is uh went through here and operates off of the uh, camshaft right now we've got a uh, freeze plug that i put in here because we're not going to need it you know because the uh, 99 here has its uh, fuel pump in the electric fuel pump in the frame rail um, you can see that this block here still does have the uh, platform for the uh, bolts and everything but they've just never been used what it doesn't have is the hole so if you were to transfer this engine using the mechanical fuel pump, uh, that's not going to work. If you're, you can take this engine and put uh, from from a newer vehicle and go an older vehicle. I would just go with a um, a uh, electronic uh, fuel pump and everything like that and get rid of the uh, mechanical transfer pump. Anyways, uh, the other differences are um, you're going to have different. Uh, fuel lines coming from the mechanical fuel pump and it, they pretty much run it through all four corners of the head so you've got fuel lines there on the newer setup you're just going to have two and it's going to have uh one's going to go back here on the back of the head and then your other one i took the fitting out but it was there where they got here they just got it plugged off another plug there <clears throat> because the electric fuel pump can supply better fuel pressure than the mechanical one they apparently they just didn't see the need to uh run it over you know that way so there's that difference there hey let's talk about the high pressure oil system here uh one of the main differences here is is uh this oil reservoir here and how it looks between here's the 1995 this is the 1995 um, high pressure oil pump the reservoir here you can notice that the top of this reservoir you know doesn't come off like say this one so you're going to have another gasket or seal in here uh, you got these holes on this one whereas you don't have them on the one from the 95 these are where your through bolts go to uh, mount your fuel bowl to um, far as these uh front covers and we'll talk about that here in just a second but you can see we do have a difference in the gaskets for the um 2000 versus the 95 you can see the difference here in the gasket in what they and then one other difference and i don't know what it is but you can see a little bit of difference whatever there's something in this in this pump here that this pump doesn't have what it is i don't know you know like this is a bolt hole 
or for the there's two bolts that bolted on and um but you can see yeah the difference between these two gaskets here so what i did notice is um let's see let's check a look at this front cover right here so in this area right here you can see that little hole well that is different on this one this one has that hole up in the top side of it and i don't think i can get a good camera angle but it's fairly right there so that's different so i would not interchange you know and that's all part of the front cover oh this hall back here behind the uh water pump let's look at this one here the water pump removed but this front cover this is all part of it um i would not interchange this front cover so basically we would do it anyways but this front cover is going to come off you know and we're going to reseal it and all that stuff but uh that's going to come off and we're going to put um this front cover <coughs> onto that engine you know because we're going to be using the uh, newer high pressure oil pump which would be using this gasket and all that stuff so that was just something interesting i didn't know um as far as the differences and i think there's even further differences between the uh early 1994 and a half and well i guess 1994 and a half and early 1995s i know there's differences between the ipr valves i don't know about these two being this one's a 95 but maybe there is um and that could be this difference here i don't know but uh there are those differences there um you know obviously the uh high pressure oil lines are different with um these have these uh quick connect style here on the 2000 versus this style here um that's just a matter of a different fitting but these fittings here, these thread sizes, and you know, got all these plugs and stuff. These are just number five O-ring boss uh, fittings. So you would just transfer, you know, this fitting and transfer this style fitting, which is all I know. It's all covered in grease, but I think it takes like a three-quarter wrench to pull it out. Um, you know, keeping the same oil lines, or if you want to use. The, you know, these fittings here are going to be just different, but they are removable. These are number six O-ring boss fittings that are in the high pressure oil pump itself. So they can be, they can be transferred and all that. But like I said, I just would not interchange these, this pump style onto the different front covers as we talked about before. Okay, let's talk about the uh, intake system here. Uh, here on the 1995, these are, you know, since it's not, not, uh, intercooled, um, you know, these are smaller than these, but that whole piece there is, um, boltable. So you have to transfer those, the, uh, turbo pedestals and the turbo system, uh, the exhaust manifold on the vans are not interchangeable to using for the pickups. They're different, um, but the turbo pedestal will mount, you know, the, the 99 or 2000 turbo pedestal will mount here uh, just fine. So they didn't change any, any of that kind of stuff. Pretty much the block has never been changed, you know, as we, before the other engine still has these. The only difference is they said they just didn't do the hole right here. And then obviously the camshaft, I think, on the uh, 2000 doesn't actually have the lobe that would be for the mechanical fuel pump. I wouldn't worry about that because I wouldn't use a mechanical fuel pump no matter what you're changing to, whether you're going the direction I am or going the opposite direction and, and uh, using a newer 2000 engine and going into an OBS Ford pickup or something of the sort. Um, yeah, I was talking about the exhaust manifolds are different from the vans than uh, than the pickup, so those aren't going to interchange. Uh, real quickly, you know, here's a valve cover uh, for the van, which, you know, not a huge deal, but this could be used. Obviously, this one's not because it's all dented and everything. Um, but this spout right here doesn't exist on the uh, um, one here for the pickup. 
And then, uh, you know, this valve cover, there's no difference, but other than you can remove this here, put your oil spout and stuff on there. So that particular one could be interchanged. I would just go with, uh, you know, changing your, I don't know, it's up to you, but it's all different. Uh, these are different as far as the uh, injector harnesses go. You got the 95 here has the two different uh, plugs, <clears throat> whereas the 2000 has the one single. Um, you can interchange that kind of stuff to a point uh, if you want to use the newer style or, or whatever, it don't matter. The only thing that's different is, is the injectors in both of these engines. This engine here has uh, single shot injectors and this one here has split shot injectors. That's why I like the 99s and up were a little bit quieter than these older ones. Um, those you have to get your uh, injector driver module reflashed or whatever to run different injectors. I wouldn't run the split shots in the newer vehicle, just wouldn't do it. Um, <clears throat> I mean, you can, some people do, some people say they like it better for performance and whatnot, but um, see, so that's all the difference there. Um, here is the spacer plate that you would have for an automatic, you know, and the flex plate and everything. Um, so that just, uh, you know, with removing this, uh, you know, this is pretty much loose. It's ready to come off. The, it gets sandwiched in between the transmission and uh, the block here. Um, you can see that uh, because of the spacer plate, we now have, you know, bolts here for uh, the starter. Because you can notice those don't exist on this engine because all it has is this spacer plate here, you know, because it's gonna have a flywheel clutch and everything like that. Whereas you go over here to your six speed manual and you've got your three bolts right here that bolt right into the transmission for the starter, which those, which those bolts go through these holes right here, you know, so this plate just goes on, basically this thin plate goes in place of the big thick plate there. So with this engine, you know, we're going to have to remove the flex plate, remove the uh, thin or the thick plate here, and then put this thin, thin one on and then put a, put our flywheel on, which I mean, we're not reusing this flywheel or clutch, but I mean, put a flywheel on it. Um, as far as anything else goes, uh, the engine mounts are different uh, than they are on a van as far as I, I think. I'm not 100% sure on the engine mounts. I'm just gonna transfer them over um, because they're pretty easy to, to remove the whole thing. Just a, one bolt here and then there's two more that go up like this, which are, you know, those are the, it removed and everything like that. Oil cooler is all the same, doesn't matter. Low pressure oil pump is the same, it doesn't matter. Oil pan, I don't see any differences between uh, the oil pan. You know, we're going to remove it because ours got a big old huge dent and it just basically with, you know, how this thing was either sh shipped or stored or whatever. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I don't see any differences there. I'm sure the pickup tube, all that stuff is, is uh, the same, whether or not you have the older body style. Um, this bracket right here is uh, different than the one that would go... Um, on here you know for your newer uh 99 and up which would have uh this on there that's different i mean that could be di different between the vans because i do remember the harness for the van had this square uh plug right here it was kind of in this area right here and i've never seen that on a pickup or nothing like that so that could just be unique to the van you know, um, this has the older ICP sensor, so that'll have to be transferred and removed off of here. But, you know, here's a good newer one on this particular engine. Um, I don't think I've left really anything, you know, your, your CCV system's the same. Um, but pretty much everything, everything does bolt up. You're just going to have to transfer a few things. And the most important things that I can think of are, are getting right are these front covers. Make sure you have your front cover that's for the year of the vehicle you're using. 
versus your high pressure oil pump that you're planning on using. So we're gonna use the uh, 99 uh, high pressure oil pump. That's the one that came out of this pickup. So we're gonna use this front cover, this reservoir, and you know then this fuel bowl and all that type of stuff. We'll go back on this engine, we'll remove this front cover and uh, not use it, you know, We'll use it at a later date if it is if it's still if it's still good or anything like that for when we do end up rebuilding this engine to put it in a uh, older vehicle which is what my plan is um, to put a non-intercooled 7.3 I think in an, in a, in an older suburban I think that's my plan so all right so I thought I'd expand on the high pressure oil pump reservoir this that and the other just a little bit more I got this Molly kit with all the gaskets and whatnot <clears throat> um it comes with you know it's just generic based on you know 94 all the way to 03 so we got our two different gaskets you know this is the one for the 2000 versus the one for the 1995 the other thing too is um you know like this gasket right here all right, so like this gasket for the 1995, it's gonna go right here, you know, and then this is filled in with silicone, so I don't, and I didn't see a gasket that's shaped like that, so, but silicone would work just fine for this. Um, but that's how this particular one goes. Obviously, you know, the one coming off the 2000 looked like this, so it's a whole piece, you know, but what you've got is you've got an extra spot here that the the uh, 95 one doesn't have. So, and then the other uh, another difference too is you know like this thing being 99 or whatever. So this gasket came like that. Uh, so which you know we have it in here, but then we've got this gasket um would be like this now i don't think this can work i think this is going to be even for a newer style you know this would be a filter um, but to me you set this down in here and this part right here it hits and it still looks like there's space in between here so i wouldn't use this um <clears throat> unless your particular front cover that you're using had it maybe maybe this goes in an o2 or something i don't know um for sure when this came about but there's going to be that difference and there might be just some little bit of difference in how this is designed to be able to make this sit to me it just doesn't sit down well enough you know that i wouldn't use this i just use just the gasket that uh, came out of this but just another one that's most important thing about you know these front covers and not interchanging parts from them uh, so on the on the 2000 front cover we're going to be using this gasket we're not going to use this one and we're going to use this gasket and then this guy right here we're not going to use that um <clears throat> so anyways yeah and you know this particular kit i don't know if it's got a molly part number or something on it somewhere i don't see it Oh, oh, come on, camera focus. There we are. There's the uh, Molly part number, 953-584. Um, got this online somewhere, like a place called uh, KT Performance, I think it was. Um, I like using the Molly gaskets on these things, uh, especially for the um, oil coolers, because I have gotten the uh, Felpro ones in the past. And I've had a few of them uh, come back, and they end up leaking. It's not the the O-rings parts, but this part right here tends to leak. Or this one, I haven't had this side leak, but mostly this this side right here. You know, no matter how good you clean it up, and using the Felpro ones, I've not had good luck with them, so I wouldn't use Felpro on any of this stuff, um, in my opinion. Uh, but anyways, yeah, hopefully that, um, you know, 
uh like i said we if you take the top of this piece off i just you know i do kind of have add and just rambling on and on sometimes but there should be a seal in there i think somewhere um <clears throat> you know obviously like this one's not going to have it because it doesn't come off uh but these are you know are interchangeable for uh but i just wouldn't i wouldn't do it you know i mean imagine Let's say you're going to use your high pressure uh, oil pump from a 95. And so you use this gasket and you use your 95 um, front cover. Well, no, you wouldn't want to do that because that's got this special thing right here. So, no, I wouldn't interchange any of it. Never mind on that. So, don't do that. So, because, yeah, there's that's an oil passage of some sort, you know that we don't have on this guy so yep wouldn't interchange i was thinking maybe if you were going to add like this to be for your uh updated fuel system but no change your front cover along with it uh so the only other thing um you know is your you know like this bracket right here uh it's got these bolts and stuff here that bolted on i think just those three you know but those are all in the same place and it looked like there must be four just like that you know you've got these three bolts here but you know all of that is the same one two three so everything is is interchangeable and in, in all that stuff they didn't change a whole lot um so anyways uh hopefully i got everything i intended to get to <laughs> i don't know um but yeah hopefully that helps you out with something thanks for watching